we start off with local news with an international spotlight as the war between Russia and Ukraine continues. Musicians are joining together locally for a Stand for Ukraine benefit concert. It was held here in the Bronx, and our Bronx Dev reporter, Brittany Schuyler Albain, brings us the story right now. This world would be a lot better place if we showed a little bit more compassion. Local artists gathered to spread joy and music at Jimmy Ryan's on Middletown Road for the Stand for Ukraine benefit concert. All of the performers showed solidarity with the citizens of Ukraine and were excited to perform for a touching cause. It's been a while since I've participated in a benefit concert. So to be invited, not only to a benefit concert, but a concert in the Bronx, my home borough, my hometown, uh, it feels really, really great. Organizer of the concert and musical artist, Conversing with Oceans, or Alex Bondarev, knew he had to give back somehow. As a Russian native with Ukrainian family members, the ongoing war has devastated him greatly, and he urges those around him to spread nothing but love. To me, there, there was no difference between Russia or Ukraine growing up. We were all one people. Just love one another. Um, you, you all have something really special to give, and it comes from that place of love. The performers weighed in on their thoughts about the ongoing international conflict, and for the most part, they share the same sentiment. They mention the anger and sadness they feel every time they turn on their TVs and are hoping for change. It's heartbreaking, completely heartbreaking to, you know, it, it, I was just talking about earlier how it's, it's hard to share positive things in this time because you know so many people are going through so many tough things. I feel like every time we watch the news, there's just something there to terrify us or honestly wake us up to everything that's going on in the world. Throughout the night, attendees heard sets from Vinnie Caruana, Lords of the Sun, Zayai, Shakeout, Ayana the Singer, and many more, as they cheered, sang along, and donated. The proceeds raised from the concert are going towards Doctors Without Borders, which provides emergency medical aid to people in crisis in over 70 countries. The Stand for Ukraine benefit concert was an incredible night for an incredible purpose. All involved hope to keep the momentum going to continue contributing to the cause. Reporting for BronxNet, Brittany Schuyler Albain. And thank you, Brittany. We're going to shift gears and we're going to stay on the local front. Uh, South Bronx Charter High School is actually finding a way to bring fresh gourmet dishes to their neighborhood. Our Bronx Net reporter, Barley Makoko, was there. She has our story right now. Kitchen of a five-star restaurant? Think again. Chef Adam Smith has combined pesto and other ingredients to this blender, soon to turn into puree, for a pesto pasta dish with chicken, just one of two freshly made meals prepared each day here at KIPP NYC College Prep High School on East 144th Street. We're in a food desert where we are currently located. We're trying to offer all of our kids real food. You know, for years, we'd see them coming in with Pringles, with, uh, you know, whatever they picked up at the local bodega. And now we're making fresh egg sandwiches for them to have. And it's free for every single kid in the building. So we want to give them the best we can. There's also rules by the USDA regarding our nutrition. So we have to follow those strict guidelines. But so far, it's a strategy that is working. Just ask senior Yarlin Rodriguez. The food program here is very amazing because the food here provides you with a lot of energy and it's also cooked from scratch. We try and do a bunch of things for the kids to give them options. So we have our sandwiches and then we have our lasagna as well today. And we'll also always do a vegetarian or vegan option. An alumni of the school who now works with the culinary team, Orlando Garcia can remember while as a student when the switch to fresh food was made. Th this is, uh, it's a lot different in the sense that like, I mean, I feel like the kids enjoy the food. It's, it's, it's raw, it's made every day. It's not frozen. It doesn't come prepackaged. And, and it seems revolutionary, but this is what every school should be doing, right? Michael Ioli is senior director of the culinary team, okay. also an educator. He, with the support of school administrators, went to culinary school at night with a goal of providing healthier eating options for his students. We're taking the same funding as any other school and we're applying it to, to real food and good products and skilled staff and cooking school food from scratch to provide healthy and delicious meals for kids. It should be the norm. And here's what that looks like for Chef Adams. I'm, I'm in every day at 6 a.m. Um, usually here before anyone, which is nice too. It's nice and quiet. I can get my my mind in order. Right. There's certain things that we do. Sometimes we cook stuff overnight, like long braised pork or beef so right. that we can, I gotta get in and pull it out immediately. 
Um, but today we did breakfast sandwiches for 200 students. Tomorrow we're making pancakes from scratch and we do uh, mangu, which is one of the big things that the, our local students like. And this is the result for Rodriguez. One thing that I love is the vegan option that is provided here because sometimes I'm not in the mood for meat or fish. So I would just get um, the vegan food that was prepared or just a salad and also fruits. All things that have had a great effect, he says, on his eating habits. I'm always eating every day, <laughs> breakfast and lunch. And here's something you don't see every day. It's a salad bar right here at Kip College Prep. It's a program that they want to see expand across all their campuses in New York City. For BronxNet, this is Arlie Makoko. And thank you, Arlie. And that is all the time we have for our Bronx updates. We encourage you don't go anywhere. Uh, we might be out of updates, but we are not out of show. Stay with us. Open continues coming up right after this.